Hello all you cooksters and friends. Coming to you live today from the beaches right outside Sarasota, Florida. This is Anna Maria Island. And I have to tell you, I don't know about you, but I know that whenever I come to the beach, and this has been true since 1975, I've always thought of one of my favorite films. That movie comes to mind every single time I come to the beach and I see the shoreline where the beach meets the Atlantic Ocean. Yes, folks, I am talking about a very well-known movie that was a big smash hit back in 1975. We'll talk about it more in a moment when we return. As if you haven't guessed it already, the movie that I'm talking about is the 1975 thriller directed by Steven Spielberg, Jaws. That's right, it was that summer that just put the fear of great white sharks into everyone. It, would, it was based upon the 1974 book by Peter Benchley. And I'll tell you, since we're talking about Jaws, I think I'll go ahead and tell you one of my favorite jump scares from the film. It might be yours too. I'll never forget the first time I saw it, when Richard Dreyfuss, as Hooper, dives into the ocean at night. Roy Scheider, Sheriff Brody, is in the boat up top, and Hooper goes down to check out damage on the orca. When he goes down, he finds that there's a great big hole in the hull of this boat. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, comes the dead face, the deceased visage of Ben Gardner. That's right, it was so scary. Do you remember that? One of the all-time great jump scares. And I think a lot of it was due to the amazing score composed by John Williams that helped give it that jolt, that jump scare. Now, the makeup work here was extraordinary as well. The famous and well-known, the sculptor, the molder, the master molder, Werner Kepler, he did an extraordinary job of creating that scary dead face based on the face of actor uh, Craig Kingsbury and as Ben Gardner. And I'll tell you, he did an extraordinary job. It just looks great. And what's interesting is that that bust is still around to this day. Um, you know, it went through its, obviously, its years of wear and tear, and then it was done over, given a makeover, and restored, and so it looks pretty much today, it's in someone's private collection, but it looks pretty much today like it did when the film began production. Um, I just love that so much. But there's another reason that we're here talking about Jaws, and that is because we lost one of the great cinematographers of American movie history, and that, of course, was Bill Butler. Bill Butler, he was an extraordinary man. As Steven Spielberg once said that he had zen-like confidence and grace under pressure. Bill Butler is responsible for doing the great cinematography on films such as The Luxy Blues, starring Matthew Broderick, The Conversation, with Gene Hackman, Capricorn One with Sam Waterston, Child's Play, the great voice of character actor Brad Dourif, 
Deliverance. That, of course, had that amazing, horribly terrific and terrifying scene with Ned Beatty. Demon Seed with Julie Christie. Frailty of 2001, starring Bill Paxton, a personal favorite of mine. Damien Omen 2, and then Rocky 2 with Sly Stallone. Rocky 3, same star. Rocky 4, of course, same star. And then the all-time great, The Godfather. So, Bill Butler did the cinematography for Jaws. He was the one that got into the wetsuit and dived out into the ocean in the cold waters with Steven Spielberg, a young Spielberg at that time. And Bill Butler, he was the one who actually stared into the mouth of the great big fish. For his work and his influential filming on Jaws, he received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the American Society of Cinematographers. Bill Butler received nominations for the Oscar from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences as well as from BAFTA. And although he lost out on those Academy Awards for Best Cinematography, he got that Lifetime Achievement Award from his peers and I think that that was almost in a way more important. So here's to you Bill Butler. You did so much great work and you brought to us such an extraordinary body of work with your cinematography. You certainly made your notch in American movie history. We give this tribute to you. This is for you, Bill Butler. Well, if you enjoyed what you saw here, folks, please comment in the section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Also, remember to ring-a-ding-ding -ding on that bell, Quasimodo's bell, and as always, remember to like and or subscribe, <laughs> because it's here. You're gonna learn about the strange, the unusual, the uncanny, the bizarre, monsters, mutants, the macabre, freaks, creeps, and geeks, and crafting and collections, even classic films, great books, true crime, theater, plays. It's all here, and it's all on the inside. Thank you for watching, and remember, sleep tight. Don't let the great white sharks bite. I leave you now with the beautiful scenery of the gorgeous and famous Sarasota Sunset.